This is part 7 of our web design series in HTML and in today's lesson we're going to be looking how we can add images to our website. So in our previous video you would have learned about the special tags, the ones where we don't have an open and close, it's just one tag and then closes straight away inside the first tag. And if you remember that was the BR or the break tag and then we learned about the horizontal rule or horizontal line tag which breaks immediately there's no closing tag so those are two special tags which there is no closing but it's just one tag now the img tag is one of those as well it's a special tag which closes immediately there's no closing part to it and then all the attributes must be inside of this one tag so this tag as i said is used for images and just take note that when you are using images in your html files those images must be saved in the same folder as your html files um, otherwise your computer is not going to know where to look for them so that's the best style of doing it so you can make sure that they're saved in the same folder and we use as i said the img tag and how does it know which image to use well there is the source attribute or src attribute and that must be set to the name of the image. Now, please take note, it's not just the name, it's the full name with the extension. Sometimes it'll be .jpg, sometimes it'll be JPEG, sometimes it'll be a PNG or a GIF. Uh, make sure that you get the correct full name of the, the file with the extension. So that's the, the most important property. Now, there's another property called the ALT or alternate uh, tag or attribute. And that is a tag that or attribute that will be used if the image can't be displayed correctly. If something happens, maybe you didn't save the, the image properly um, or it's not in that folder and so it, it, I can't find the image to display. What it will do then is it will display the ALT um, attribute in place of the image. Some browsers that, um, especially if people are visually impaired and they can't uh, see everything on the screen and they move their mouse over certain images, um, some browsers will have features that will read whatever's in the ALT tag um, attribute um, for those particular people if they are struggling to see. So it's very important to have an alternative option there for your images. Other features or other attributes that you could use, you could have the width and the height of your image. Maybe you want to set how big the image is. Um, please take note that if you're going to set both the width and the height, you will probably distort the image unless you keep to the correct ratio. So I recommend only changing one of those, um, either the height or the width, because then it will keep it in proportion. Um, but as we've done in previous videos, you don't just have to put down values. You can put down percentages as well, which will be percentages of the page. So it will expand or get smaller depending on how big your browser is at that particular time. And I think the last attribute is like, where do we want this image to be? Um, and we can say if we want it aligned to the right, if we do that, then the text that's near it will be on the left hand side. And if we align it to the left, um, then the text will move to the right hand side. That's if you want the text to move around the image. But just take note, when you, if you use the align tag, in this case, there is no center option. So you can't use the center option whenever you are aligning images. It's only if you align it to the left or to the right. So let's go have a look and see if we can add some images to our web page. So here's the web page we've been working on. Before I even add the image, I'm actually going to show you what it looks like if we don't have the image correctly there. So we've got our heading over here, and I'm going to add an image already here. So I'm going to put an IMG tag next to my heading. I'm going to put my logo over there, and remember it closes immediately. So there we go. And I'm going to put the source. Now I don't have, let's put a wrong image in. Let's go say, hey, uh, Mr. Long. Now that is not a correct image because there is no extension. Um, so that is a problem. So that will display the image very badly. So if I save this and refresh it, let's see what it looks like. You can see it just puts that little icon there and it, you can't really see everything. So that's why we need the attribute for the alt. Um, to say equals um, Mr. Long logo. So if I put the alt option in, you'll notice the difference in the image at least it puts a little piece of text there for the image so that's what it does there so let's talk about those images i need to go find that image and make sure that it's in the correct folder so there you go i've got my image i've got two images i've got a mr long logo jpg and that's the one i'm going to use in my page now just if you can't see the extension maybe your settings of your computer is that you can't see the extension you can always just right click on an image and then you can go to the properties of that image 
and there you will see the extension of what you must use. Now make sure that you can see that part so that you know what the ending must look like. So it's Mr. Long logo, logo.jpg. So that's the image that we want to use. So I'm going to save that. And now let's go look at our file. Boom. There we go. So there's our image. Now this is not exactly where I want it to be. I want to make it a bit smaller so I can make the width property. Let's make the width property um, 100 and see what that does. We're going to make it a little bit smaller. Um, there, there, that looks a little bit better. You can change it. You can change it to 100% or 50%. I'm just going to make it to width equals to 100. And I actually want my log, my H, the, this this heading I want it to be next to it so that's where I will do the align part align equals to the left so that anything else will be to the right of it so let's save that and refresh and there we go you can see the text is all on the other side of it okay so there we go you can do that type of thing if you want okay um, little features like that. You can add a couple of breaks or other paragraphs here to move that down if you wanted to. I'm actually going to make this a, even smaller. Let's make it a nice small little logo. Let's make it 20. That's a bit too small. 30. Boom. Okay. So we're getting the idea of the image. Now, what happens if the image, like if you've got a lot of images, then your situation in your folder could become quite messy. So if you've got like a lot of images that are all piling up here. So sometimes what website developers will do is they will create a folder for all the images and they'll put all those images in their own specific folder so let's go do that quickly I'm going to make an images folder and now I'm going to let's say this circle PNG I'm going to move that inside of the images folder so there's the circle one now if I wanted to access that one particularly let's say at the end of my web page somewhere over here I want to add another image so image Let's close it immediately. I'm not going to do all the other tags. I'm just going to do just to show you. We're going to do the source equals. And what was it called again? Do you remember? What was it called? It was called circle PNG. Circle.png. Now, if I do that, it's not going to find it because it's not in the same folder. So I can't find it. But it was in the images folder. So you can just say images slash. And then it will look in that folder for an images folder and then for any files that are in that images. And if I do that, there you can see that your one, your thing does display. And if you do want an image to be centered, um, you can put it in a paragraph and align the paragraph to be center. If you do that, that is a little hack that you can do to get an image to be centered in the middle. Because obviously you can't align it to the center, but you can do something like that. So those are little tips and tricks when you're dealing with your images. So as I said, make sure that you know exactly what your image is called so that you use the extension. Make sure that you have an alternative option in case the image isn't displayed. You can set your height and your width, then you can align it to whichever side you want. And there we go. That is images. For more videos in this video series, go to our YouTube channel. Click on that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. Go look at the playlist and there you'll see all the options available to you. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the mister long way.